Hey, this is Brian. And Shelby. And you're listening to the Hyperspace Pod Blast. Aren't you a little short for a podcast? Huh? Well, suffering succotage. Welcome to Hyperspace Pod Blast. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Oh, man. I really need to transition to just regular intros. <laughs> I think so. It's about time. Maybe after uh, like 100 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Ideas evaporated a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, so this week, there are opposing factions everywhere you look in Star Wars. So we thought we'd take the time to talk about where we think we'd end up in any given area of a galaxy far, far away. That means Star Wars. I think everyone knows that. (laughs) Well, you never know. Hmm? So we'll start chronologically. In the prequel era, you had the Republic and the Separatists, the established, enormous governing body of the galaxy, versus those systems on the outside of the inner circle, both literally and figuratively. So what side do you think you would find yourself on in this conflict? Well, honestly, I probably would be on the side of the Republic. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, mostly because it seemed like the Separatists were just a bunch of bullies. (laughs) See, I think the Republic were the bullies, to be honest. Really? Yeah, because basically, I guess depending... You're not not taking Padme's side? No, I'm not, unfortunately. Um, (sighs) Well, I guess you got to move out now. Yeah, that's the way it goes. (laughs) Sorry. But yeah, the, the overarching story here is that, you know, Palpatine is up there puppet mastering this whole thing. But the actual ideas that the Separatists were, you know, at least thinking they were believing in, I think are pretty important because it's kind of like the whole idea of just because we're out here on the edge doesn't make us less important than you rich, well-to-do people in the middle of the galaxy. Yeah, I mean, I think they have the ability to govern themselves in many situations. Plus, I don't feel like there was a good representation of the Outer Rim. Yeah, and I mean, I think for some of them, yeah, like for Tatooine, for example, you know, they even say that they don't even belong to the Republic, but I don't think they were separatists either. They were hut controlled, which is a whole different thing we're going to get to later. But um, just all these small systems, these what they refer to as backwaters, things like that. And I think it's because, you know, I grew up in basically an American backwater. We always look to... We both did. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm telling other people, not you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's not like I ever thought about, well, you know, the South will rise again or anything like that. But it's kind of speaks to the way I can see how people in those kind of areas look at the bigger cities like the L.A.'s, the New York's, the Chicago's. And they're like, how come we don't have anything that they have? Why do they get everything? So I, no I one think, cares about us. Exactly. I think I would have found myself on assuming really i think this is more of a where are you in the galaxy that's where you side you know what i mean if you're part of that inner circle you're probably like why are these people complaining you know they're giving support them yeah exactly but yeah just i'm gonna go with the confederates just because i think it makes me different confederates well confederation of independent systems i believe is what they are actually called but then they refer to them as separate tests so okay sorry thanks for yeah, explaining that to me again south won't rise again or anything, <laughs> but in star wars they had a point yeah so that's where i would be you're still republic huh you're on board the the clone troopers once you well, see this yeah. surprise army out of nowhere of clones you're just like yeah that's cool i don't know well, how that happened I... but i'm glad it did <laughs> My thought, though, is not that the means that the Republic used at certain points, like it it started to devolve and go downhill. Yeah. I would say pre that, pre clones, pre. So, episode one, Mm -hmm. things are looking good. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty pretty easy to agree with, I think. I mean, there there was corruption and manipulation in both of those situations. I mean, you were making the the point about Palpatine pulling the strings for the separatists, he was Mm -hmm. also pulling the strings. Right, yeah, he's he's the, the puppet master over both factions in this particular instance so you really can't choose a winning side Mm -hmm. or the right side i guess because either way you're just feeding into the ultimate evil (laughs) yes which is just amazing but Hmm. you know taking that 
out of it, I think the uh, the separatists at least have a point, and they're they're a valid, you know, they're kind of like I don't know, sort of like what the rebels become, really, just maybe versus a less tyrannical and more yeah. political evil, so to speak. Not necessarily evil, just I don't know. They're they're downtrodden, not. <laughs> they're yeah. not getting crushed underfoot necessarily yeah. but it's not necessarily a good place to be either so what do you think about the quintessential star wars struggle rebel versus empire where would you have fallen maybe in line with the iron fist regime or taking up the cause for freedom man i always this is the one people f- used to talk about the most obviously it's like would you be rebel or imperial and i think i want to say rebel really bad but I think I would probably be Imperial. Yeah. I think I would start out Imperial. I think I would see the awful things that they did and the first chance I got to join the Rebellion, I probably would we after would, that. We would be like Lost Stars, only backwards. Aw, cute. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like you, you hope, I think, that you would be a Rebel. But at the same time, especially when I was younger and the way that they do propaganda it would be hard not to buy into it i think especially if you don't see you know because so much of the imperials what we get in the sort of separate stories because in the movies they're just they're just evil like all of them they're just bad people but in the sort of expanded universe stuff we get to see that they think they're actually doing something good yeah but well, there's a reason why the Empire is so strong, and there's a reason that they're able to recruit people. It's because they're good at making themselves look like the good guys. Well, yeah, and like we saw in Solo, they're, it, you know, it's kind of a comparison to the, what the military does in the U.S. They take these people from basically nothing, and they're like, here, look what we can give you. We Just can join build the, you up into yeah. something that you never would have been able to become before. Right. Which is not, I'm not, you know, dissing the military. That's pretty cool that they do that, but, you know. It, it presents opportunities for people. Right. So it makes, even if you think, well, I don't know if I agree with them completely, but it's better than being a slum rat in Corellia. So, yeah, you know, it's <laughs> kind of, you have two bad choices. Which one do you choose? Um, it's rough, man. But I think from the point of view, probably of not knowing the bad things that they were doing, the Empire probably looks like a really good option, especially coming straight from the prequel era where they, you know, they ended civil war. They've put peace and prosperity to the galaxy. And if you're in an area where you see this, like, especially if you were somewhere where there was a struggle currently happening and the Empire came and, like, fixed everything, you're probably really excited and pumped for the Empire. So that's what I think. I really wish I could say that I would be a rebel. (laughs) (laughs) But I just, being honest with myself, I don't think I would be. I would start out Imperial, but I think after witnessing something horrific, if I ever did, Mm. I I think I would skip out if I got a chance. I would, I'd hope again, (laughs) but then I don't know, man, I can see myself doing that whole, well, this is probably an isolated event. Um, Maybe the person will get punished for it and it won't happen again. It's certainly not happening all over the galaxy. Man. I know. Well, at least you're being honest. (laughs) Right. That's what I'm trying to imp for life, right? (laughs) (laughs) So moving on. 30 plus years later. And now we have a mysterious third faction that has entered the equation. Because we have the New Republic, which has basically just come in and replaced the Empire slash Old Republic as the big governing faction. And then we have two little minor players. We have Leia's Resistance and then the Ex-Imperial First Order. So now, with three options, what side do you think you would be on? Definitely resistance. Yeah? I think I would be like the going against um, this, I don't know, New Republic that's being really complacent uh, with this growing threat. If I had been through what happened with the Empire, I would be like, oh, no, we're not doing this again. (laughs) Even though people thought like Leia was kind of crazy or whatever for trying to build up a resistance, you know, until. Right, yeah. Things like that are always seem crazy until it happens. And you're like, haha, I told you so. Except there's no one to tell because you all blew up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, um, I think I would probably be New Republic. Yeah? Yeah, because on the outside, the resistance looks like a gun-toting crazy bunch of militia people, honestly. 
I could see that. And it's like, you know, <laughs> it's something that would be on the History Channel. We told you that these first orders were out there. Y'all Aliens. didn't listen. <laughs> Except really. <laughs> Aliens. Aliens. So they don't like aliens, ironically. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I definitely don't think I would be part of the first order. I mean, unless I was snatched up and didn't have a choice. Oh. And then, you know, fed all that propaganda and whatnot. You right. Know. I mean, if I, I don't, would you fin it? Man, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I would fin it. Yeah, that's a pretty, I mean, I guess he kind of was going along with everything and until he got his actual first action. And then maybe in that instance, if I was ordered to shoot on a bunch of defenseless people just that had more or less surrendered. Even, I think after, I might your, think... even after your best friend like dies in your arms, essentially. I mean, that's war, I guess. Yeah. But if you were presented with a Poe Dameron, would you be? <laughs> I need a pilot. Would you need a pilot, <laughs> or would you? Cause I think because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> no, that wouldn't be me at all. I would definitely do it for the Finn reasons of like I need to get out of here. These people are crazy, and I would. I think if I left, I would be more like Finn than. Oh, just want to run away at first. Yeah, I would just be like, I want out, ski. <laughs> I'm not all about trying to fight these crazy people. I just want to be gone. Yeah, I think everyone hopes that they would be the hero. Mm -hmm. Well, absolutely. But I mean, that's... that's why there are usually very few heroes because it's a hard choice to make and a hard thing to do. Most definitely. Yeah, I think it's easier to see yourself in someone like Finn than someone like Poe that's just gung ho. I'm going to take on this whole thing. You know, here I am in my X Wing with this new engine for some reason mm -hmm. and i'm gonna take on this whole giant ship by myself no yeah, that's that's, that's one in a zillion if someone's telling me to stand down and come back i would stand down and come back oh yeah especially if it were leia yeah i think I'd i listen. would never be out there by myself though that man is insane mm -hmm. but you know insane for what he believes is right which sometimes makes you even more insane but he just happens to pick the right right thing. Not a lot of common sense. <laughs> but yeah, I think the the Finn way is how I would have ended that up. But I don't think I even would have joined. I think I would have left with uh, the Crimson Corsair. Yeah. <laughs> I've been like, dang, they just blow up the Osmian system. I got to get out of here double time now. <laughs> so yeah, I'd be like, sorry, Ray. It was good to meet you. <laughs> good luck with your resistance in the droid. And I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what about um say you made it as far like with the resistance as um as Finn did whenever he meets DJ would encountering DJ make you definitely just like peace out Oh for sure like I'm already well, thinking I mean I know you're a I know you just want to be a DJ <laughs> I do yeah maybe not a fair question I think it is I mean I think someone being that blatant about it to my face would make me want to stay with the resistance more When you get presented with this whole idea of fighting you know you're starting to get the juices is flowing like oh yeah the resistance is gonna come clean up this bad stuff and then you look and see like the bad stuff is both sides you're like well what am i actually fighting for like these people win no matter what i do the rich people yeah on canto bite win exactly like there's no it's kind of like that whole robbing peter to pay paul thing <laughs> we're still behind the eight ball mm -hmm. yeah i think i would have been like all right uh what do you say we drop this rose chick off and we bounce <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> ah yeah no one wants to be on my team when they're putting a team together like in solo no one's looking for brian probably not no because brian would... has his own team and yeah it's brian's team, team. brian team <laughs> hashtag absolutely team brian. are you hashtag team brian <laughs> or are you hashtag team anything else, anything else? <laughs> <laughs> team brian all the way one and only member <laughs> president ceo and number one fan. Oh, my God. All in one. <laughs> Package deal, folks. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, but yeah, honestly, to get back to the original thing, I think I would have been just part of the New Republic. And I would have thought, you know, we beat the Empire already. This First Order, whatever business. It's out of sight, out of mind. What can they possibly be doing out there in the middle of nowhere? So you're saying that the woman who basically took down the Empire, the, like the horrible stuff that the Empire was doing, if she says, yo, we need to be concerned about this follow me you wouldn't do it i wouldn't because you would you, you wouldn't, know she know. has an axe to grind and wow. i understand that she would be really cautious about this but there's nothing until you know hosnian happens there's nothing really in the wider galaxy for anybody to be worried about 
guess. I don't know. I think if... She just looks, honestly, like I said, like a crazy militia nut job to most people. I and guess we, that's, we have probably, insider that's probably information. why. Right. I'm, I'm sure that's probably what the New Republic thought of her. Right. I think that's kind of why they distance themselves. Mm-hmm. But... I would I would follow. I don't think I would have any issue doing that. I would be like, yeah, she would know. Yeah. Well, I do. I think it was a really strange decision for all this like demilitarization and we don't need this anymore. We've won. It's like um that's a little extreme, don't you think? Mm-hmm. But aside from that, I think I would have sided with the new republic because i don't know there's a part of me that wants to believe that it would be good that it could get back to where it was pre-empire even though i've (laughs) said i would be a part of the faction that opposed them then so i don't know i guess i think of the new republic maybe i'm thinking of it too much as the legends new republic because we really don't know a whole lot about the canon new republic yeah It's we bad. know that it was established, and then it was destroyed. <laughs> and we know a little bit about the in-between, but not a lot. We know that they we're going to do a first senator, but then they didn't, and then it never came up again. But, you know, enough about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Salty. I think, legitimately, though, you just want to be part of the winning side most of the time. You would think that, except that I picked the Separatists. But honestly, in that particular... Well, it's because the Republic couldn't really control the Outer Rim. They're so far away. They really are kind of the winning side when it comes to... Do you think they won by being absorbed by the Empire? Is that what you're saying? No. (laughs) I'm just saying that, like, at the beginning, most people probably thought the Separatists would be the winners. Well, yeah, I would imagine they would think that they they would get their way. It never would have happened. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, like without the clones, there's no standing army. You you assume the Jedi aren't going to fight everybody by themselves. So you had Palpatine not been pulling the strings, the Separatists probably would have earned whatever kind of freedom they were after. Because who's going to fight back against all those droids? No one. Roger, Roger. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I guess, yeah, I would. I guess I pick all the uh, main factions or the would be the assumed winners aside from. I don't know. The prequel area is just so hard to pick because, right, because everybody <laughs> loses, honestly. Right. Everyone loses except for Palpatine. Yeah. And it's hard to like put yourself in that position because you're like, well, I have all this information. It's really hard to, to separate that idea. Right. Exactly. Like The whole idea is we're trying what to put know. ourselves into it knowing what the common person would know, not the entire backstory of everything. I mean, I think that it also depends on, especially with the idea of Republic versus Separatists, it depends on where you were living at the time. If you were right, living exactly. in the Outer Rim, mm-hmm. I bet you would totally side with the Separatists. Yeah, but if you I were living so. even like, I don't know. The only problem would be maybe like Mid-Rim. Mid-Rim, I think. Where you, would... you kind of get a little bit more from the Republic than the Outer Rim does, but you don't get a lot. So you're like, is this really going to make my life better? Or am I going to side with the Separatists and then end up being on the outside just from a different angle sort of like those people might just have n- <laughs> nothing going for them it's like middle america Poor so guys. it wouldn't be fair to do this episode without taking into consideration the non-committed so to speak organizations in the galaxy so if you weren't part of one of those major factions what sort of say crime syndicate or freedom fighting force would you join well i mean we are decided i know on you don't Brian. join <laughs> don't join that's right Woo! (laughs) but uh yeah i think man i don't think i would work for crimson dawn i don't think i would want to report to stretch mark face oh my god (laughs) it's terrible uh hey man i can't look at him and not see it i'm sorry you're right it is like his head like yeah too fast exactly (laughs) it's really weird just make him an alien but whatever 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 rodian please (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd be all in with that, man. Anyway. Yeah, I think I want I really want to say Black Sun, but going with my whole like middle of nowhere upbringing, I think I might say I'd join the Huts. Yeah? Because I think if you're a good Are you are you also excluding all freedom fighting forces? Or are you just doing crime? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm going to join crime. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Let's be honest yeah. here. I'm not going to join like the partisans play, or anything like you that. You do play villains in uh <laughs> all villains all the time. <laughs> in Destiny. So continue. Absolutely. So you'd be a hut. Yeah, I think I would join the hut cartel because they seem like I mean all of these 
sort of crime syndicates are you're good until you do something wrong and then you know everything goes downhill for you just like we saw with han i think he was pretty well in job as good graces until he wasn't and then he's got a price on his head and he's running and everything so as long as you keep it tight you're gonna be all right oh my god so that belongs on a t-shirt just saying but um <sighs> <laughs> hut cartel keep it tight you're all right anyway <laughs> i'm sorry uh yeah i think that's what i would do i think i would try to join up with java i'm just assuming i would grow up on Tatooine. i don't know why maybe it's because it's you want to be luke <laughs> i don't though i want to do like i'm the anti-luke <laughs> You want to have the, the empire shows up and it's like yo can i come with you guys <laughs> <laughs> did want to join the flight academy exactly what would i do you know I mean, depending on where I started. Right. I, I think a lot of this, unfortunately, starts. It all start, depends like, on where you start. Yeah. But I think I would end up with a group like, probably like Beckett's group. Yeah. Just like a little independent kind of doing yeah. your own thing. Yeah. And I mean, Beckett, Beckett's group, they're not evil and they're not good. True. Yeah. So I think I would probably end up doing something like that. Or... You wouldn't be a cloud rider with... I uh, would be with Emphy's Nest. Yeah. That's Emphy's what I thought Nest. you... I know. Most likely. Um, I thought that's what you were going to say. That's the thing. I feel like if something happened with being part of Emphis Nest, like there's a possibility I could um, be one of the partisans. Well, yeah, it seems like that's the transition, not necessarily to the partisans, but to the rebellion from the Cloud Riders. They're one of the many small rebelling factions that I think are we're going to find eventually through some. Which is going to be interesting. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm pretty open to the idea of this roundabout way that the Alliance started. I was really excited for Rebels because I thought that's what it was going to be, but they went a different way with that, but whatever. I also think I could very possibly be part of Lady Proxima's group. Yeah, be a slum rat. (laughs) Yeah, very Oliver Twist. I was going to say, yeah, I could see that. It's very... Survival means that sort of thing. I think you would be very Kira-esque in that you would, you know, rise up in that kind of crappy mm-hmm. environment mm-hmm. find what that. works for me yeah i think you would work well with like you said with beckett's group because you're a pretty self-starter type person i'm a self-start thank yeah. you so much you're very welcome that's a great compliment i need the huts to back me that's too much work to do all that on my own i'm just gonna <laughs> you already got infrastructure and ships and guns can i have some of that and do stuff for you okay i'm in let's do it sounds great yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. So, yeah. What do you guys out there in podcast land Or just Star Wars land in general. Yeah. We'll go ask people in Star Wars land. Just scream over the fence. Hey, what do you think? (laughs) (laughs) Let us know what groups you would be a part of and why on Twitter at hyperspace underscore pod. Send us an email at hyperspacepodblast at gmail.com. And you can always check out our content on hyperspacepodblast.com. And if you're looking to get even further into the Star Wars universe, perhaps via audiobook, check out www.audibletrial.com slash hyperspace. You can get yourself a 100% free audiobook and a 30-day trial of Audible. All right. We'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks, and we'll see you. Bye. Bye.